Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a special mindfulness meditation for nurses. I want to remind you before you start that mindfulness and meditation take many different forms. Um, I tend to combine visualization, mindfulness, and deep breathing. And as you do your deep breathing, my suggestion is that you breathe in through your nose slowly and deeply like this. And then out through your mouth like that. And the idea of mindfulness is that we're being very mindful about that airflow and about the quiet and peace that we can find in just breathing. So I want you to think about focusing on the flow of air as a constant. It's always there for us. I tend to use a four count to my breathing so that I breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. And the point of this is really to help you to slow down, to see how long you can make that count last. And so the count or number you use doesn't matter. It's the slowing down and breathing deeply so that you can benefit the most from these meditation exercises. So let's start our meditation. And this one is for nurses, for Nurses Week. So I would like you to take a few minutes uh, to be together with me and do some deep breathing and visualization and to remind ourselves of why we followed a path that led us to nursing. So as you're breathing, I want you to just think about the path you've chosen. And let this meditation prepare you for the moments ahead where you have doubts or frustrations about your own circumstances, about what's happening in your caring for others, about the uncertainty that we're all facing, and reminding yourself that we're together with that. We're not alone. Um, and take a moment today and this week to remind yourself of why you chose this work to care for people. So I want you to right now remind yourself of an experience that I think is pretty common for us as nurses. And that's of that first patient who looked into your eyes and truly thanked you for what you offered. Thanked you for what you gave them that helped them to heal. So I want you to take a moment to remind yourself of that moment and probably for most of us, it's many moments. And I want you to think about the sensations you felt as you thought about looking into that patient's eyes and the smile that you got from them and the sense of satisfaction and warmth you gained from that. So I want you to notice, what did you notice around you? And as you do this, I want you to remember to breathe slowly and deeply and enjoy the constancy of that flow of air in and out. And I want you to remember that that sense of warmth and satisfaction from what you do with people that helps them is something you can always draw on. So I want you to visualize yourself with that glow. Visualize the surroundings, the light. For me, it's the smile and the look in someone's eyes as they shared their thoughts with me about the care I offered them. So remembering to breathe slowly and deeply I want you to hold on to those warm memories and the sense of fulfillment that you've enjoyed from your very first days as a nurse, caring for others, caring for your colleagues, caring for your students. And this is true of all of us who've cared for others. You don't really have to be a nurse to have helped others, obviously. 
And so for those of you who are listening to this and may not be a nurse, I want you to think about one of those experiences you've had, might be with a family member or a friend or a colleague, and capture the warmth of that sensation. I want you to notice the feelings of your body as you remember those experiences as a nurse that have meant the most to you. And just breathe with me for a minute, remembering the why of why we do what we do, of what brings us back to doing that every day. This feeling is really the essence of the work that we do as nurses. Let's take some time to breathe now where we can just let our thoughts drift away and as you're breathing, you may find thoughts from the day arising. And I want you to think of those as a playful little puppy that come up and pop their head up and want to be recognized. And really all we need to do right now is to pat that little puppy on the head and send it off to scamper away and play and refocus on our breathing. Refocus on the peace and warm sensations of our body. Breathing together, allowing yourself to be comfortable in accepting the uncertainty we're faced with right now, being sure to notice the constancy of our breathing and the flow of air, and knowing that together we can keep moving forward, together with our teams, with our colleagues. We can keep placing one foot in front of the other and know that all we can expect is that we will take that next step forward. And so living in the warmth of that memory of satisfaction and allowing ourselves to take that next step in a positive way. And knowing that sometimes we do take steps backwards. And so as we face this uncertainty, we know there will be waves of uncertainty that will re require us to acknowledge that we're not moving ahead again, that we're moving a step backwards. So we need to acknowledge the sadness of that step. And at the same time, recognize that as we step backwards, we're actually not the same as we were when we took the step forward, that we've gained from the experience of taking action. We've gained from taking the risk of moving forward. And so I want you to prepare yourself to bring back the warm and peaceful sensations, that feeling of satisfaction in your work, and reminding yourself of your goals of why you keep doing what you're doing so that you have that in mind and you have this to draw from as you face the difficult work that involve, that is what we do as nurses. So together let's find some solace in engaging today and remembering the satisfaction and being ready to work together again in our common goals as we move forward. Thank you for all that you do for your patients and for nursing. And now as we end, I'm gonna do a backwards count to three. I want you to open your eyes and be more aware of your surroundings. Two, I want you to move your hands and feet and get ready to resume your day. And one, I want you to come back and join me again. And I thank you so much for sharing this with me. Happy Nurses Week.